Hey guys, thank you for coming on here. My name is Casey Jeffrey and I am the Arkansas Regional Innovation Hub's member engagement associate. So I just want to show you guys this accent wall I painted a couple weeks ago. It took me about an hour and it's a great alternative to wallpaper. So this is great if you have a room in your house where you feel like you just need some color, you need something. You could do this in your office. This is my office. You could do this in your bathroom, in your kitchen, in your hallway, in your kids' rooms, anything just to spice it up and just something fun to do, something to spend your time doing during this quarantine. So yeah, it took me about an hour. This is way easier than wallpaper, and if you don't like it, you can paint over it. You don't have to rip it down. So yeah, this video is just going to show a quick time lapse of what I did, and I'll do a voiceover explaining how I did this. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you do this, please post on our Facebook or Instagram, or you can email me your photos at membershipsaterhub.org. We miss seeing you guys. We hope to see you soon, and we hope to see you soon. So I put this clip in here to show you what the wall looked like before and then I had a chair rail that I needed to remove and take down. So it took about a day for me to do this. I had to take down this huge chair rail and let the paint dry. So this is a clip of me showing you the pattern that I was going to do and this is why it's great to use acrylic paint because I wiped it off and painted over it. And this is the pattern I ended up doing. I tested on a piece of cardboard and a piece of paper. So as you can see I started in the middle of the wall. I had already mapped out where I was going to paint. So what I did is I measured the height of the wall and I halved it and then I halved that and I halved that and I halved it until I got to about two and a half inches and so I knew that my stripes needed to be about two and a half inches and that was just the size of my wall so I have about nine foot ceilings. So I tried to make sure that I had the right amount of paint on my brush at all times so that's why it looks like I'm kind of skipping around is because I don't want some of the stripes to have the most paint but I don't want all the stripes next to them to be faded if that makes sense. So some, some of them I did go back over so yeah and then some of them at the bottom you can see are a little wonky but my couch goes in front of them so I didn't really worry about that. So yeah here's like a better shot of the wall. I'm telling you this took me only about an hour. Here's the finished product. I'm really happy with it. There are some spots that are not great, but I painted it by myself. I painted it by hand, and I think that's really something to be proud of. I really like it, and I think it just adds something to my room. Um, I've got a lot of compliments on it on Zoom calls. People always ask, is it wallpaper? What is that? And I'm like, I painted it myself, and I think that's really something to be proud of. So yeah, um, it's really exciting, and if you guys do this, please send it to me. So I did touch the wall because I was just like, this is acrylic paint, this is crazy. So yeah, it's acrylic paint. You can use latex paint, just whatever you have on hand. Thank you guys.